runoff of the proven general election will be held on June 5th. With 41-year-old populist once Congresswoman Keiko Fujimori pitting against 77-year-old former World Bank economist, previous finance minister, and cabinet chief Pedro Pablo Kuczynski. During their final debate on May 30th in Lima, either side outlined a raft of reforms expected to help the fast-growing economy in Latin America gain more speed. Who is more reasonable? And who is more believable? The provinces have a lot to weigh in. We have a very balanced debate, although in the last debate that has been held, among many analysts, it seems that the Senora Keiko Fujimori has gained a certain advantage. Also, the polls also say that, but in any case, the results cannot be said to be definitive. The Senora Fujimori has shown that she is a better policy than the Senora Kuczynski, which looks a little more technical. The Senora Kuczynski has shown that she is a better policy than the Senora Kuczynski. Fujimori highlighted a determination for higher corporate taxes and a bigger budget deficit, while Kuczynski appeared to lean over defending the interests of businessmen and city elite. La, la señora Keiko Fujimori que propuso una, una reforma del Estado, que propuso una, eh, hacer la, del Estado eh, una palanca para el desarrollo en el Perú, como el caso de, de, de Pedro Pablo Kuczynski que que propone la formalización, la simplificación administrativa, la simplificación tributaria como herramientas para un mayor desarrollo del país. Yo creo que en ambos casos podríamos estar ante la posibilidad de un despegue económico y de una modernización del aparato del Estado peruano. En recent popular polls, Kuczynski lagged behind by around five points, which has raised the hope of Fujimori. However, the male candidate's education and financial career in Britain and the United States is still a wild card for the female one to counter. Se supone que el señor Kuczynski ha sido un economista, ha sido ministro de economía, tiene varios contactos internacionales, podría tener inversión extranjera. The economic and ministerial size may be an advantage for Kuczynski. But when the parliamentarian side is turned on, he just sees much disadvantage. Fujimori's Popular Force Party had secured an estimated six seats in the 130-member Congress, while five other parties split the remaining seats. Pero claro, el gran reto es el que no tiene una mayoría en el Congreso. Su partido en realidad es bastante pequeño, ¿no? Entonces eh, este, sería cuestión de negociar, pues, con específicamente con el partido de la señora. Nevertheless, Fujimori is still far from perfect in her political pursuit. Her party's Secretary General is under investigation by the United States Drug Enforcement Administration for laundering 50 million U.S. dollars for her in 2011. What is more, Father Alberto Fujimori is always a historic burden for her to shed. The 77-year-old ex-president is now in jail for a masterminding massacre during her rule of the South American country from 1990 to 2000. Whatever the polling scenario, the provinces have a reason to expect a better future. We are trying to defend in Peru the system that imperia in Peru sea un sistema que sea que se constituya realmente en inclusivo, inclusivo para todos los peruanos y para que no hayan esas brechas que hoy día caracterizan al Perú y que hacen que mucha, muchas muchas eh, zonas del país marginadas la población tenga dudas sobre si acompañar o, se, o seguir manteniendo este sistema. The final answer is expected on June 5th. Whoever takes over from incumbent President Olenta Humala on July 28th, she or he will remain responsible in the next few years to raise the province's hopes and dissipate their doubts.